This is the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. One of the things that I'm gonna show you how to do today is program your vehicle, your vehicle's home link system to your home's garage. Now this is a newer development, so you're gonna get the lawnmower in the back. You got a lot of activity going on with building. And just coming to program the vehicle to the garage, give you a quick snapshot of the vehicle that I'm gonna be working with. There again, this is the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited white with a black interior. So we're gonna go ahead and get to it. I've already got the vehicle on, but I don't have the engine turned on. So first thing we're gonna do is come around and go ahead and hop inside the vehicle. Of course, you know how to do all that. That was a little extra. So once we're inside, just give you a quick snapshot of the vehicle, just in case you have one. Yours may not be a limited, but as long as you have the home link system, it will be the same method as far as connecting to your home link system. So I'm going to go up top here. So once I go up top, you can see here, this is what I'm terming as your home link system. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and start the vehicle. So once the vehicle started, all you're going to do is just press one and three here, press one and three and hold. That is your indicator, which is the little orange light there. Some may call it red. It's in the form of a house, the little diagram there. Once that starts to blink or is altered, as you can see, it's blinking now. Now I'm just gonna release. Now all I have to do from here is, you definitely are gonna need your transmitter. You're gonna need your transmitter to complete the process. This is your transmitter which opens and closes your garage. Now you can see the garage in the background. I've already cleared my home link system. Once I clear my home link system, I'm just gonna hold my transmitter, regardless of the garage or the transmitter or manufacturer of the garage, hold my transmitter up. I'm gonna get it in as close to the home link system of the car as I can, as you can see here, and I'm gonna press both at the same time. So I'm gonna press both and hold. As you can see, the garage is moving in the background. Now as I'm holding, notice the blinker for your home link system started to blink rapidly. Once it starts to blink rapidly, you can go ahead and release. Now, I can go ahead and put this in my cup holder area or store that in another area. That completes that step. Now, once I have that, now take a look at the garage in the background off to the bottom left-hand side. Now, I'm just gonna press and hold number one. Now, notice the garage is moving. So, my home link system is complete. And there, you have just programmed your home link system on your 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee to your home. Now. Perhaps that did not work. That is what's called a one-stage garage. You may have a two-stage garage. A two-stage garage is deemed to be safer because it sends out a roaming code so no one can depict your code or get your code if they're sitting around your house somewhat in a van or your neighbor decides to do it on their own. No one can do that because you have a two-stage garage. So if the one-stage process I just did did not work, you have a two-stage garage. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to do if you have a two-stage garage. So if you have a two-stage garage, you need two, three more items. The one you saw behind my ear while I was in the car, this is just a spike. If you're doing edging for your gardening or whatsoever, that's just a spike and you can hammer it in and it keeps the edging in place. Now, you don't need this. You can do a screwdriver. You can do anything small enough to get behind the motor area in the garage motor, which is on top of your roof. Now, you need a little step ladder, depending on how tall your motor is for your garage, that's right up top, so you are gonna need a step ladder, and I'll show you exactly how to do that and show you exactly what you're looking for. So one of the primary things you are gonna be looking for, we'll go ahead and step up, and be careful not to damage your other automobiles. Just gonna slide this back just a bit here. You can see where I have the Jeep. You wanna place it right outside of the garage. It doesn't have to be straight. It can be crooked, narrow, or whatever, sideways. And on your motor for your garage, you can look right in the back there. If you look right here, see the little yellow button? Yours may be orange, yours may be red. That is your discovery button. So basically what that allows is if you're programming anything in your garage to open and close your garage, you're gonna to have to tap your discovery button in order to get it connected. So the only thing I have to do here if this was a two-stage garage is just go ahead and insert this and I would just reach up and tap or press the indicator. And why am I having a hard time finding it now? There we go. 
So all I would have to do is just reach this inside, and notice this is small, you can use anything you want. Just reach that inside, tap the yellow indicator button. Now once I tap that yellow indicator button, just to show you, I have right at about 30 seconds to come back to the car, and you have to run to do this. So once you're back into the car, you're just gonna jump in, and then I'll go up top here, I'll press the number one, which I just programmed my transmitter to, press and hold for two seconds, press and hold for two seconds, press and hold for two seconds. By the time you do the third rotation of the press and hold, your garage should start to move. Now that would be known as a two-stage garage. That's the two stages of the process or the second stage of the process. The first one was getting your transmitter connected to the vehicle or the home link system. The second phase of that, of course, was getting the garage connected to the automobile itself. Everybody will not have a two-stage. Two uh, matter of fact, most of your home manufacturers right now, they're doing most of their homes with a one-stage garage door opener. So the first stage, which is programming the transmitter to the car, that would complete the process. But if you do have a more secure garage, you can use the second phase of that, which I just showed you. And hopefully this was quite helpful in connecting your vehicle. Definitely tune in because I do the garage process with a number of other manufacturers. And also if you're on the market for a vehicle, I show you a lot of things as far as ins and out and how to control that vehicle as well. So definitely tune in, stay with me, greatly appreciate you.